Okay. An ordered pair is in the form x, y. We were just talking about graphing ordered pairs. And a relation is a set of ordered pairs. Okay, so it takes an x and a y to make a relation. And then a set of the first element is called the domain. The set of the second element is called the range. So the x is the domain and the y is the range. So in the first set of ordered pairs, which is a relation, the domain is going to be the set of all of the x values. So what are the x values? Yep, 1, 5, and 10. 1, 5, and 10 represent the, the domain. And then what is the range? I'm going to list it in order. It doesn't, I wouldn't, it doesn't matter that much if you list it in order, but these are all the y values. I just think it looks better listed in order. We like order in math, okay? Okay, for the next relation, go ahead and take a moment and decide what the domain and the range is, and then we're going to share out. So, who can tell me what they got for the domain? When we're using these set notation, that's what the um, braces are for. So did you get 6, 7, 8, and 9? And who can tell me what they got for the range? Yep, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, that's what the domain and the range are. So the next thing is a relation, we said, is a set of ordered pairs. That's what we already said. And so when we had these, the set of ordered pairs here, we called that a relation. Now we have certain kinds of relations. A special kind of relation is called a function, but not all relations are functions. And you can kind of relate this to your everyday life. This is what I, where I get a little personal, right? So we talk about you have relationships. Not all of your relationships are functional relationships, sorry to say. Okay, so what makes a relation a function? A function is a set of ordered pairs where no element of the domain is paired with more than one element of the range. So you could think about this like a machine, okay? A function, if you have an input, an x value, you can only have one y value coming out. You can think of the x as like the question and the y as the answer, okay? And the reason why I relate this a little bit to your relationships is because if you think about maybe your relationship with one of your parents, if you ask them a question and they give you an answer, you expect that answer to be consistent, right? Perhaps. But let's say, you know, you're a toddler and you go to the store with your parent and you want this toy, okay? Maybe you're a parent and you think about your toddler and you ask, can I have the toy? And they say, no. Can I have the toy? No, no, no. But eventually you ask enough times, you have a temper tantrum and all of a sudden the parent says, yes. So in math, every question has to have one answer. If you give me two different answers for the same question, all of a sudden the relation is not functional because now you have created a bratty child, right? That is going to always know that the answer is not really no if I ask enough times or if I throw a temper tantrum. I don't know. I don't have kids, so maybe this is not accurate, but does that sound right? You don't negotiate with terrorists. Okay, that works too. So if you're, if, if what happens is you, let's say, I'm going to give you an example, okay? If you have this relation, and this is 2, 5, 3, 5, 3, 7, okay? This is a relation because it is a set of ordered pair. And is every question, if every question is five, if every question is different and the answer is the same, that's okay. But if the question is the same, three, and I have two different answers, five and seven, the fact that you have 
two, five, three, five, that's not a problem. You could ask your parent the same question or different questions, and they could always say no, no, no. That's still going to be functional. Okay, but if I ask the same question, the question was three, and the answer is five. In math, we don't have a way of determining, well, which one is it? So we would say that this is not a function, and the problem is, is the question three gives me two different answers, five and seven. That would be like saying to the same question, yes, no. Is the sky blue? Yes, no. Okay, well, which one is it? You know? So every single question, every element of the domain, and three is an element, element of the domain, has to be paired with only one element of the range. So given the table of values, answer the following. What's the domain of this table? And the domain we say is the x values, right? So who can tell me what's the domain? Yeah, right? All of the x values are the domain. What's the range then? Let's list them in order. So it doesn't matter that they're not listed in order here. Tell me the, the numbers that exist in the, in the range. Zero and five and eight, good. Eight happens twice, but eight is the same number, isn't it? Do I have to list it twice? Not really. Okay, what else? And 15. Is this relation a function? What do you think? So it is a function, yes. Why would you say it's a function? Because none of the x values are repeating. Even if you have the same value 8 here repeating, it's still like saying a different question gives you the same answer. It's not that the question changed I'm sorry, it's not that you had the same question and two different answers. So can a function have a repeating element in the range? Yes, it can. All right. Let's look at another example. Wait, which page am I on? Page three. And do these represent functions? So... What about A? A was pretty much almost the exact same one we just did, right? So yes, this one is a function. And what about here? And you would say no, why? Yes, so 8, basically X is 2-timing. If X is 2-timing, then it's not a function. Okay, 8, when the question is 8, the answer is negative 3. When the question is 8, the answer is 3. Which one is it? Make up your mind, 8. Who are you going to, what's your answer, you know? So here we say it's not a function because an element of the domain is paired with two separate elements of the range. So just like we answered this question, can the function, can a function have a repeating element of the range? You said yes. Can a function have a repeating element of the domain? No. A function can't have a repeating element of the domain. Okay? And that would make it not a function. Any questions on that?